In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a little project that I'm doing at my house here for the holidays. This is going to be a log reindeer. It doesn't look like it now, but I've got a few pieces of logs and wood and just things that we've cut down and I'm gonna turn them into something that we can use for decoration during the holidays. Let's go through the process. I'll show you all the tools and everything that you need to do it. And I'll show you exactly how I build these things out. ATL Resell Guy. You've seen these out in people's yards before. It's basically a few logs that you'll cut down and fit together to look like a deer standing out in the yard. Really cool, really simple, really easy. I think it's something that we can do. I've got a larger piece here for the body, a slightly smaller log here for the head, and I've got some longer hardwood that we're gonna use for the leg and neck. And then I'll go out in the yard and I'll find some just like loose branches to use for the antlers. I'll be using just a few simple tools that most people will have around the house. A couple power tools, a saw, a measuring tape, a bit that you can bore out some of the wood to stick the legs in. We'll get to the step-by-step -step process. I'll show you exactly how I do it. Maybe they'll look good enough so that I can list them on Facebook Marketplace and sell for a couple extra bucks during the holidays to get some people some gifts. So first things first, we're gonna put on some safety equipment. This is the log that I'm gonna use for the body of the three deers. I'm measuring it out and just gonna split it into thirds. Rough estimate, these cuts don't have to be perfect, don't have to be exactly equal. This just gives me some kind of guide when I use the power saw. It had that one little branch right there, so I wanted to take that off before I started anything. Here I'm making the first cut for the main body. This was a thicker area, so I had to cut a couple times just to get through it. And again, these cuts don't have to meet up perfectly. They don't have to be exact. Hulk smash. I went ahead and cut this other leftover piece in half as well, just to have ready. And since it was thinner, it cut a lot easier. Here's the three pieces. Again, they don't have to be exactly equal. They don't have to be the exact same size. So now I've got the one inch boring bit. And this is what's gonna allow me to put the legs into the body here. I started by drilling at an angle, which I thought would give the deer a little more stability. If the legs were just straight up and down, it wouldn't be very stable blow out the sawdust that's inside the holes there. And now I'm just doing some rough fitting on the pieces of wood that I have for the legs, just to be sure that they'll go inside. And what I found was that the angle was really, really wide for the legs. It just didn't look natural. So I'm coming back and reworking these holes here just to give them a little more verticality, not so angled. And on the other side, I'm drilling two holes, one for the neck and one for the tail. I'm gonna cut these pieces of wood to length, make them all even so that we'll have some stability and the legs will all be the same length. And here's the smaller log that I'm gonna be using for the pieces of the head. I did a rough estimate, a little less than half of the length of the body. One more hole on the bottom of this headpiece for the neck to put in. So here's just a rough fitting of all the pieces that I've got just to kind of see what it looks like and how they go together. And those legs are long. Here's a different piece we're gonna use for the neck and just went ahead and inserted it and cut it to length. And this scrap piece of wood I was gonna use for the tail. And another test fitting here. It all goes together, but it looks like an alien or something out of a Salvador Dali painting. So we're going to take a good bit off these legs just to give it some more natural appeal. 
think I'm taking about seven inches off here. And another test fitting, just to see how it all looks now, goes together. And I would say proportionally, that is much, much better. Time to put together some antlers, and this is just some tree brush from the yard. You want to get something that's spreading out, resembles antlers in a way, and just trim it down to an appropriate length for the size of the head. I'm holding these together so they'll be somewhat similar of a length. Coming back with a drill bit and trying to size one up that's about the same size as the ends of the twigs that I'm using for antlers. And just bore down into the top side of the head at the back there. I made those deep and wider at the top just so I could wedge the antlers down in there and they'd stick inside. And a couple little of adjustments, trimming them down to size. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's put it all together and see what it looks like as a whole. Here's some measurements if you're curious what the lengths of all these were. The legs are going to be about 18, 19 inches. The neck piece is about 5 or 6 inches. Head piece is about 7 inches. And the body is about 16 to 17 inches. Antlers were about 10 to 11 inches long. And here's just a time lapse of putting together the other two. And these are the finished products the deers displayed out in the yard with the Christmas lights. Each one is unique, a little bit different from the other, and I like that. All right, guys, so I just finished putting together all three reindeer. The first one was a little bit experimental. I'd never done this before. The next two were a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, and came together a little bit better. This one just happens to be my favorite. I think out of the three, it has the most personality, the way the head is cocked and tilted. When you're making yours, feel free to make adjustments, play with it a little bit, get creative, and make it unique to the style that you are looking for. Each individual adjustment that you make in terms of the length of the legs, the angles, the type of wood, the antlers. It's gonna make yours entirely unique. If you want to emulate this style of deer and make this exact type of log reindeer, all the measurements, log sizes, lengths are gonna be down in the description below. If you wanna make yours more permanent, you can use construction adhesive so that they'll lock and stay in place. I decided not to do that because I wanna be able to take mine apart, keep it in a box, store it away over the year, so that it's not taking up a bunch of space in the yard. If you're liking this video and you like the outcome of the build, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Definitely helps out my channel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great time making your log reindeer, and hopefully I've helped show you kind of a breakdown of how you can put one of these together for yourself. Until next time, ATL Resale Guys signing out. Up peace!